Did I wear those Target toys? Yeah, no, I got them all for the thing. Hey, how's it going? It's Devin with Devin's Card House, and I am here with special guest. It's Billy. Everybody knows Billy, right? Billy was actually on the channel, uh, it was like a few months ago, uh, for the, when we first initially played Sorcery. I, I won that, fair and square. Yeah, I know, champion. I was just yes. letting everyone the champion. I was a champion for a short period of time. But I actually, I've known Billy for, how long do you think now? Almost... 2016 or 17? Six. No, earlier than that. So almost... It's been 10, 10 plus years. Yeah. Because I was like, I, I, I think I met Dan in like 2014. But what was the, the first thing that we... I was trying to think. The first thing we ever did, was that was that D&D? Or... The first gaming we ever played was, was D&D. The first thing we ever did was uh, we had uh, hot dogs at that um, outdoor venue uh, downtown Austin. Hot dogs? Yeah, there was like a... It was after a show and we hooked up with you and Dan. Oh, and there's a had, hot dog uh, stand. Yeah, yeah, there was yeah. a hot dog stand. And on Red River, if you're ever in Austin, <laughs> uh, 10 years ago, there was a hot dog stand that we'd always go really out there. Really good hot dogs. Yeah, we get hot dogs at like 2 in the morning, drunk as hell. Yeah. But um, uh, Billy, uh, he is a dungeon master. He is a, a battle tech... What is it? Shoutcaster? Uh, used to be, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, he is a... Uh, PC gamer, PC gamer, and a card gamer. Yeah. What, what 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 do you consider yourself like mostly? Like what what is the primarily? Like, I mean, D and D is probably my like go to passion, um, and then BattleTech would be like my top top two. Obviously, Magic, you know, yeah, I did Magic most of my life, and then. But like, you consider yourself like D and D above? Yeah, everything yeah, D and D. Else. Everything else is pretty much my my go to. It's crazy because Billy creates like whole worlds. He'll create like whole themes. He'll create like whole like I'm not sure you create languages and stuff, but. Uh, no, I just borrow languages from other people. Yeah. <laughs> are do, are you using um um what uh set are you using like e what yeah, yeah. version are you using? So uh, D and D five e uh, is primarily uh, what uh, based in um, plug for D and D Beyond. I know a lot of people are, are sour on it, but it's actually a really good utility, and I encourage people to get it because you can share it amongst your friends. Uh, and then Tailspire on Steam uh, is really cool because it's like. Um, it's kind of like Legos, but you can build entire universes and stuff. And there's Tales Tavern and Tales Bazaar, which are websites that are community-driven websites that okay. allow you to um, download pre-made stuff. And they've added Aliens content. There's oh. Cyberpunk content in there. Dan's gonna freak out about I've that. Already, I've already yeah. showed Dan the, the uh -huh. initial stuff, and he was really. He, we have to do like a, a tutorial, uh, show him how to use it. But it's really extensible, and it's it's a, it's a lot of fun. But yeah, uh, D and D. Looking forward to the new player handbook, Dungeon Master yeah, Guide. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Uh, what, what about the new uh, edition? Um, it, I've only done a little bit of looking at it because um, I can't I can't get two rule sets in my head, or I'll get confused when we're we're playing. Um, but it looks it looks interesting. Um, I'm really stoked for the new the new books that are coming out. I think this summer um, they're like spread one month apart. So yeah, uh, we'll dive into it. Are you sure you're gonna? Or do you think you're gonna switch over to the new edition? Yeah, we'll absolutely okay. switch over to the new edition. Yeah, because I don't really know anything about edition switching, but I know it's like a big deal for the community. It's supposed to be backwards compatible. Yeah, so that'll be cool. Okay, because I I listen to a lot of D and D content online, but as Billy knows, I suck at it. <laughs> And I have. Uh, he doesn't suck at it. He just didn't. <laughs> he did. He, he was not allowed to fully invest in his character. Okay, and that, and I'm just not really. I, at first, I did not understand that D and D is a, like a role playing game. I didn't get that. Yeah. I thought it was like a tactical game, and so I showed up. I almost died. I was driving up to Billy's house <laughs> yeah, one of the true. times, and I hit ice on the road. I did a 360, kind of like Mario Kart. <laughs> but I made it there. It was I like almost shit my pants. It was the scariest like thing I ever had to. But then, anyways, I got to his house and we were playing. And in my head, I was like, "Oh, we're all just gonna drink beer." And it almost kind of play, play like play magic, but yeah. with like minis. Yeah. But I did not realize like, no, you actually build a character right. and you actually like become a part of the. And I totally got it later. But in my in my first initial experience with Billy all these years ago playing, I, I totally sucked and I felt like an asshole because I was like. I totally just got drunk and didn't <laughs> and didn't do this. That's correct. how most people start D and D. Yeah. They 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 uh they they don't really understand like the depth of it. And it, D and D can be anything that you want. You have tables that are uh, straight up like tactical combat. Mm -hmm. They're they're all about the mechanics and the crunchy numbers, and they're just moving minis around on the board. And that's what how they want to play, and that's fine. And then you have people that are all into the role play aspect and it's all about their character development and their story and then you have people that you know ride the ride the middle I and mean, it could be D&D is whatever you want the the key thing is like when you find a table or people to play with 
you know, make sure that the, the, the that they all everyone's on board for the same type of game. Because mm. when you've got people wanting to play different types of games, it can be it can get yeah. a little difficult. And I felt like that's what was kind of the mix of what was going on. It's like some people understood what was going on, I did not. <laughs> and then once I finally kind of got it, it's just, uh, I'm not gonna say Candace, my wife, she's been on the channel. She was not a fan. I, was, uh, I had a voice. My character was a turtle or a turtle. <laughs> And I would talk like this all the time. That would be my character, and she hated it. <laughs> your, char your character, though, Bones Bones Montu, uh, ended up being an NPC throughout our entire campaign. And like we would always, anytime he like, because his his like go to phrase is "God damn it, Valkorian. <laughs> and like anytime we would engage, he would he would say his "God damn it" line, and it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I love. Is that gonna get demonetized? Uh, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. This is, no, this, uh, there's, I don't expect any monetization on this channel ever. I've, I've, already, I've already come Sorry. to that conclusion. No, it's okay. But um, yeah, no, uh, I, I, always, I was cool to know in the future whenever we talked about this that my character did live on in one way or another. He became, a, he became an admiral or a commodore because he had multiple ships. See, I'm so successful even Very in, successful. in lives that I don't even have. So anyways, I just wanted to talk with Dude, Billy real quick. this is a, a box. Just Stop. sitting here. No. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I just want to talk with Billy real quick about this. I, you know, I don't want to talk about everything because I do want to talk to him about Star Wars at some point. Just the next time he's over here, I'll harass him about something else. But I just want to get because he is an, an amazing uh, dungeon master. And uh, I, so I miss playing those games. I just wish it, I just need more time. But anyways, me and Billy uh, get to uh, play games all night. Yeah. And play games all tom tomorrow. We got, we got four Star Wars decks. So we're playing Star Wars. We're playing Sorcery. You brought a board game. I brought Game of Thrones, the, the board game, which is a lot of fun. Yeah. And so we're going to hang out and have a good time. So anyways, we just wanted to, I just wanted to give interview my friend here. So that was it. So uh, that's it for us. Or that's it for me and Billy. And we'll talk to you later. Okay. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. Out of my way. I thought that was everything you wanted. That was it. Awesome. It was perfect. Governor Jesse Ventura, to send you, Devin, a little bit of a message, my friend. You need to quit slacking. You, I heard lately, have been skipping your workouts. What's going on, my man? You want to turn into a little fat porker?